China's coffee startup Luckin is expected to start trading on the Nasdaq tomorrow. This company is looking to raise its profile here in the U.S., just as rival Starbucks is planning to expand in China. Kate Rogers looks at this brewing rivalry. China's coffee culture is heading to the U.S. Luckin hopes to get a jolt when it starts trading on the Nasdaq. The upstart is not yet two years old, but its growth has mushroomed. The company has about 2,400 locations today, with plans to add an additional 2,500 by year's end, which would overtake Starbucks as the dominant presence in China. Analysts say Starbucks, which has referred to China as its second home market, has an advantage given its two decades of operations in that country. I think it gives them an advantage. I mean, with Starbucks building its brand on experience in the region, uh, particularly with its upscale roastery uh, type locations and, and other upscale uh, modern locations, I, I think that does give them a leg up. And while Starbucks makes money, Luckin is losing nearly twice as much cash as it takes in, even as coffee consumption in China grows. Luckin's strategy is to offer deep discounts, deliveries, and cash free stores. And while that may be attractive to some consumers, experts say there's likely room for both. I don't think it's a winner-take-all type situation, too. I think that you know, a player like Starbucks still is very much focused on experience. They'll have success among younger Chinese professionals. I mean, I think companies like Luckin, which focus on speed and convenience, uh, they'll continue to, to satisfy that need. Starbucks CEO Kevin Johnson has also said that some of its competition's heavy discounts are not sustainable. But Luckin plans to continue offering low prices, something investors will certainly be watching to see which bet wins out in the long term. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kate Rogers.